Happy Monday, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I am Derek the Nitwit. Welcome to the new people, and thanks for coming back to all my wonderful subscribers. So, <coughs> excuse me. Today, Little Miss, her, I let her have one of her Mylar balls, these little things. They are cracked to her. Now, they, I bought like a dozen of them. Um, from eBay and was putting them in the toy box She will get every single one of them out leave them on the living room everywhere all the place but um, So I would put them back in the box and then she would she would just play with all of them She gets all of them out with them scattered throughout the house Doesn't do that with any other toys just the little crack balls So I got to where I was putting them in the desk drawer you know, I have to pick them up every so often and, you know, just let them keep on. Put the rest of them in the desk drawer. That little stinker figured out where they are and how to get into the desk drawer to get them out. So then I had to move them. She kept going back there. So finally she got, you know, to where she wasn't obs as obsessed with them, it seemed like. So I finally decided to today I decided, okay, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to get get her little Mylar thing out. Dude, she's in crackhead mode. But just her, not Max. Max is just sits there and just stares at her like she's nuts. But, so, Little Miss is getting, hopefully she's burning through all of her energy, so when I go to sleep tonight, they will sleep and not get into the yarn shelf like they had the last two nights. At least the yarn they got into last night, I was able to wind it back up, and it's just, I mean, they're getting, they're pulling out the scrap balls. And, uh, except for, for whatever reason, this particular cake... Which is just Red Heart, I think. I don't know. I've lost the label to it a long time ago. Max is obsessed with it. I catch him trying to take the entire cake off somewhere to do who knows what with it. So, they're off doing their thing. But I have one and a half M FOs today. My first one, my yarn pendant. Okay, I didn't make the pendant. But what I did make was the... The chain that it's on. I found <coughs> Walmart had some necklaces that would have fit, but they didn't really match. They were like the bright silver and just didn't go well with it. And, um, you know, they just it did bad. I didn't like them. So we looked at the craft section and I found in the, because I was thinking, okay, well, maybe I'll make, you know, the little ball chains, like, you know, like, I don't know what they call them, but like what dog tags are on. Thought maybe they'd have those somewhere or, you know, maybe a, just like a leather cord or something. So I found these and it was a chain that came with the findings. So, and it was like 62 inches worth of chain, which I've got enough, I can make a couple more chain. You know, if this one breaks, you know, I can at least replace it. Oh, you little twerp, what are you doing? There's no more crack balls in there. She's getting into the cardboard box that my laptop was sitting on, trying to find more of her little Mylar bars, and there's not any more in there. No. Dude, if you look at me, like, I'm insane. Okay. So, anyway, so there's that. That's This is the, the half. I mean, I had to open the little wire loop and close it with a pair of pliers, but, you know. There's like no real design. So it's only half one. I, I get the, the credit for the effort, but not for the creativity. But I finished my market bag. This thing is huge. I bet you anything. Come here, little miss. Just what you get. Yep. She fits in there. Yay. Yeah, hi, little miss. Yeah, she's like, Dad, leave me alone. So, come on. You want to... Look, there's the ball. So, I like it. You know, the strap's long enough. You know, I can fit it crossways. I can fit a decent amount in there. It's stretchy, so it's got some give to it, but it's not so super stretchy that it's going to immediately drag on the ground. So, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Boom. It's just, 
double crochet, single chain, double crochet, single chain. And then, yeah, so I like it. So I was thinking about, you know, these are nice and people need to, you know, go away from, get away from plastic bags and go more towards recyclable and whatnot. And even if it's not, people don't use it as just like a regular market bag, but just as a drink bag. If I were to sell these, how much do you think I could sell these for? Because, I mean, it, if I would have worked faster, I could have had it done probably in a day. But I have had um, several days of needing to um, get out and run errands and whatnot. So I haven't been able to, you know, work, you know, in one solid chunk of time. So just if you leave me down in the comments how much you think I could sell those bags for. Now, I know that I'm on a yarn ban, which means I can't buy yarn. But I can win yarn, like I won from Crochet Rocks. Or people can gift yarn, like Sabrina did to me. Uh, but my yarn ban, which will last either this entire year or until I completely run out of yarn, whichever comes first, um... Does not extend, so far doesn't extend to tools. So, like, you know, if I need knitting supplies or crochet hooks or things like that, you know, they're not in the band. So, I got my, and it's just boy, um, boy brand, like boy band. But, I mean, it's a 9 millimeter, so size 13, and um, aluminum hooks. And, I mean, these... Aluminum hooks are, you know, they're my favorite so far. So, out of, you know, all the different materials and stuff that I've tried is I like the metal ones. So, I'm going to use those and play with that and the home deck yarn and work on making the, uh, start knitting. My next project, I'm going to be, instead of crocheting a living room rug, I'm going to try knitting one so I can do like a rectangle shape. And so, I'm going to start that here in a little bit so I can play with my new knitting needles. My next crochet project that I'm going to use is I'm, I need to finish my F-bomb. I haven't worked on it um, since I started working on the bag. I've just, you know, actually stuck with pretty much just one project until I finish this. So, but I, what I need to do on the F-bombs, I've got to put the cap on it, and then I've got to put the fuse, and then the, the letter F for it, and then it'll be finished. So, now Noni May has got to start doing this thing for the month of February for Monday Night Shoutouts. So, my 10, I'm going to start with Noni May's husband, who gave us his own shout-out during her live last night. And that's my first one. I don't think he actually has a YouTube channel, but, you know, he did give us a shout-out. So, and most of these are going to be, with the exception of one, I think all of these are under 1,000 subscribers, so they definitely need more people in their family. So the first one is Marlo, the, it's Marlo, and uh, Marlo1980 is what the YouTube thing says, but it's Marlo is Crafty, and then we also have Creative Creations by Robin, and I will have links to all of their pages down below to make it easy for everyone to go and check out their channel, so, you know, no excuses. Crochet Rocks, you know, I have to have her on here because, you know, I won her giveaway, and I'm eagerly Waiting for that, I want to check out that yarn. Plus, she said I think she said she's going to send some tea with it, and I gotta love good tea. And this next one, I'm about to murder this name, but I'm gonna try Rosalie Pereira. She is a dumpster diver, and she's got some really neat stuff on there. And I, I like dumpster divers. My mom and my stepdad got me dumpster diving back when I just you know my senior year of high school and. Um, you know, when I was going to college, a uh, year or so I went to college, um, I think I had one entire apartment, with, an apartment one time that was furnished almost immediately, almost entirely by dumpster diving. So, then we have Frugal Savvy Crafter, because you know, anybody, anybody, we all know what it is to, um, have to, you know, none of us are rich, so we're all, any way that we can to, you know, stretch our money. We have Unchained Crochet, Twisted Stitches, the Yarn Hag Ryan. I love the Yarn Hag Ryan. She makes me laugh. She is just so chipper and so energetic and just such a hoot. And I love watching her videos. And she's doing that graph stuff. She was showing some of the graphs on her video today. I'm like, 
you know what? I might actually be able to do something like that. Because I've been looking at this Harry Potter graph game that I wanted to do, but I kept thinking, I don't know that I could do that. I don't know if I'm talented enough. And she, the way she just, real quick, flipping through the graphs that she's done, and pointed out, hey, you could do this, this is what you do. She wasn't even doing a, tor a tutorial on it. She was just saying, hey, this is what we're doing, and this is how you can look at it this way, or you can, you know, we have the directions this way, or we have the directions this way. She's just showing the different options. And I'm like, it makes sense now. You know, it's latch hook, but not with itty bitty pieces of yarn. And then my tenth one is I love loopy crochet and treasures because, you know, we all get a little loopy sometimes. So anyway, I can smell my frozen pizza is about done. And I forgot to set the timer. Oh, my bitch, my pizza's done. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.